So begins the end of a dark time. I've never seen a being as strong. Maybe one. So, Snyder's Justice League trailer was amazing. No protectors here. No lanterns. No Kryptonium. It will fall in his name. I have turned worlds to dust. But do you know what else was great? This. Where's your name, Amber Heard? Yeah, 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 yeah. They got Willem Dafoe, Connie Nielsen, and J.K. Simmons, but not you. Uh, Courtney, yeah. I can't, I, I really, I can't do this. Unfortunately, this good moment was short-lived for fans of Johnny, as Amber did feature in the full four hours of the Snyder Cut, and some fans of the movie are not happy about this. But we'll get into that in a few seconds. Let's hear why Zack Snyder kept Amber Heard in the movie. Zack Snyder on Amber Heard's role in the Justice League trailer. Many did not see Amber Heard in the new trailer for Justice League The Snyder Cut, and they were hyper happy about it. Let him come. Let the bastard come. Stab this through his heart for what he did Arthur. I want to make him pay. HBO Max released one of the last trailers for Zack Snyder's Justice League on Sunday, March 14th, 2020, and it received a lot of praises, with many saying it was better than what was released in 2017. However, many also noticed that Heard's name wasn't in the credits, and they didn't see her in the trailer, making some wonder if Heard has been removed from the movie. But fans got a little struck and slack-jawed when they saw that Amber Heard was still in the Snyder Cut. A number of fans on social media said that they couldn't continue watching the movie after seeing Heard in it amid her ongoing legal battle with ex-husband Johnny Depp. But Snyder didn't take that into consideration when filming her as she's still part of the superhero flick. The Snyders, Zack and his wife Deborah, had an exclusive interview with BuzzPop TV. One of the questions touched on Heard and the threat of cancel culture. According to Snyder, I clearly like Amber's role in my movie, you know, and I just shot her again. Snyder shared his thoughts about the threats from fans wanting to ignore his four-hour-long director's cut version of the 2017 DC film due to Heard's involvement. He suggested that he thought fans are free to express their opinions. They should also keep in mind that there may be a lot going on behind the scenes before condemning the work. In the Snyder Cut, Mira, played by Amber Heard, looks more formidable in the film than she was in Joss Whedon's cut, but the biggest shocker of all is Snyder making one interesting change to the character. In the Snyder Cut, would you believe Mira actually has a British accent? You can't escape. I'm not trying to. Something that she never had in both the theatrical cut and 2018's Aquaman. There are too many casualties. We have to stop fighting now. I'll find my father, but you must defeat Orm. And what if I can't? Even the character's animated counterparts were voiced with an American accent, so it's intriguing why Snyder chose to change it. Mira speaking with a thicker accent obviously felt weird at first, as you can hear, but I think it actually works, and it only made the character closer to her royal ancestral roots. If you think deep about it. Ugly reactions from Twitter. Some fans are not so happy with Amber's role in the superhero movie. Let's read some tweets. At Michael Sanch82 comments that the worst part of Zack Snyder's Justice League is Amber Heard got more screen time, otherwise a definite step up. At Free Moneris writes, funniest part of Justice League so far is Snyder having Amber Heard speak in a British accent for no reason. Watching Zack Snyder's Justice League and the first frame with Amber Heard already pissed me off, says this Twitter user whose username I cannot pronounce. Expressing her concern for Johnny Depp, at Nicea Brown writes, Every time I see Amber Heard on the new Justice League Snyder Cut, it makes me think about how Johnny lost all his roles and she gained everything from lying about abuse. Now, let's take a look at some good reactions. 
at Unsane16 tweets, I love how Zack Snyder works alongside actors to bring characters to life, instead of just making them read lines from a paper. Look at this British Mira, literally perfect and eligible to be the next Queen of England. At JakeBrooks665 tweets, My wife would be unhappy if I didn't point out that Mira's wig is far better in Justice League than it is in Aquaman. She continually refers to that one as a Party City wig, and she is not wrong. Also, at 90 Switch tweets, I kinda wanna watch Aquaman now. I like the way he was in Snyder's film. And Mira? OMG, I loved Mira. More Mira. Hashtag Justice League. While Amber's role certainly has more negative comments than positive, the movie is in no doubt a delight to watch. You should probably watch it too. Let him come. Let the come. Stab this through his heart for what he did Arthur. I want to make him pay. You have no idea how I feel. Who have you ever loved? The Case for Amber Come to think of it, if Warner came out right now and issued a public apology to Johnny Depp, rehired him, fired Amber Heard, apologized to us, did a series on domestic violence, including female on male, made Amber admit to her side of the violence, do you think you'd ever be able to forgive Amber? Do you accept this apology by Amber Heard's fan? She writes, unofficial apology part two. Let's move on from hating at real Amber Heard. Let's give her the chance we gave Robert Downey Jr. Some of you may never forgive her just because she did wrong. It doesn't mean we make someone jobless for the mistakes in their private life. While everyone does deserve a second chance, do you think Amber deserves one? Let us know in the comments section what you think about that. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our next video. Till then, take care and goodbye!